What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Popular Video Games here. I'm chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right, y'all, welcome to my fan fiction of The Flash, Season 3, Episode 19. Let's get into this. The episode starts out with the military landing on the city, issuing a curfew for all remaining citizens. Hef, Troth, and EOD watch this on the news as the commander is setting up checkpoints throughout the city to contain the EOD problem. EOD members rally saying, just try it. We'll waste all of you. Deadshot issues a meeting to speak to his people. Now Deadshot says, we don't know their full military power. These checkpoints that they put up during the week are going to make things even more worse. Katana, he says, I need you to do reconnaissance on the military checkpoints. Food drops, manpower, access codes. Once you find out these, return to base, and we'll begin capture of the bases. Katana then gets on a motorcycle and is riding down the street until something hits her front wheel. Katana jumps off the motorcycle before it explodes and does a superhero landing. Katana looks up. It's Nissa charging at her. Katana protects herself. Nissa and Katana have an all-out battle. Sparks fly from their swords clashing. Nissa swings at Katana's feet, but she jumps up dodging it, landing on her hand and kicking Nissa in the face, sending her flying. Nissa then gets up. Katana jumps back and says, Why are you attacking me? Nissa responds, You EOD bastards tried to kill Sisko, and you've been killing my comrades since this whole war began. You must die. How do you know I'm EOD? Katana says. Nissa responds, You're not a meta, so you're not part of Hef. EOD is the only group that contains highly skilled humans with little to no technology. Well, besides me, of course. Katana charges, screaming, Equality or death! and does a left slash at Nissa. Nissa counters and flips Katana on the ground. Nissa stabs the ground, cutting Katana's face. That bitch nearly took my eye right out. Katana screams, You bitch! I'm a general. You try to take me down, and Trough is done. Yeah, I know about you fuckers. Nissa also says, Well, then more importantly, I should kill you now. Nissa then activates her enhanced sword as Katana charges in a blinding light. Katana's head is on the ground, and Nissa looks back saying, <laughs> One less bitch around. Meanwhile, riots are breaking out throughout the city. A fully healed Wally charges into action. Barry joins him. Murders, rapes, bombings, all happening at once. Barry and Wally manage to stop 67 crimes before they happen. Barry stops, exhausted. Wally catches a woman who is thrown from a three-story building. A building is on fire. Barry runs in. He doesn't have much time, he thinks. In a course of five seconds, he's able to clear a five-story building, rescuing 26 staff members and a dog. Wally then kills 13 EOD members as they were shooting at civilians. Barry runs to Wally saying, Stop! We don't kill! Wally pushes Barry off him and says, If you ever try to stop me again, you'll be the next one I kill. And Wally runs off. Barry gets up saying, Wally, what's happening to you? An hour beforehand, the military has lost 25 soldiers in an instant investigating a half base. A new Argus leader, Harrison Wells, is riding in the helicopter. The general says, your product better deliver. It will, Harrison says. Half members are getting ready to leave when out of nowhere crashing in above the hideout is an experimental mech Argus suit and is finished developing. Two metas actually charge the mech suit, but they are cut down at one swipe. What the fuck is this thing? The members say. The new girl Shadowcast says, I saw this in the plants before the building exploded shaking. These are human, meta-human hunting machines. They have material that couldn't even be in this timeline. What? A timeline? The metas say. Then the mech charges at the metas. The metas open fire doing minor damage to the machine. It then fires a high power beam killing five metas at once. What is this thing? Half metas then run for their lives as this machine is destroying the building as well as them. I can't believe it. They're running, the general says. Harrison says, I always deliver. Four metas stay yelling, a machine can't beat a god. Don't be foolish. 
One of the men has managed to cut the arm off of the machine, but the machine picked it up and put it back on and reattached itself. Shadowcast says, those aren't just normal machines. The schematics show that they're nanobots. They can continue to fix themselves. The mech then looks at Shadowcat. Shadowcat phases out of the building, just enough to see the building explode. The mech monster walking out with the bodies of the metas on his sword. The last remaining meta fires a black energy blast at the mech. It hits, but the blast is cut using the mech's sword. And then the sword stabs the meta in the stomach. The meta gouging out blood. <laughs> what are you? Shadowcat then sinks into the ground as the mech is ordered to return. Minutes after Katana dies, EOD members are seen crying over the headless corpse of their general. They radio back to Deadshot to inform him of what's going on. Just as they do, the hideout is raided by military. The military begins opening fire, killing 30 EOD members. Deadshot hears this back at the HQ. He orders an all-out assault on the military. They kill Katana, he says. Captain Boomerang says, let me handle this one. I like the little bloke. Moments later, Captain Boomerang is at the outpost. Deadshot says, how will you do this? You don't have any backup. Did I need it when I killed those three trough members sneaking around? Captain Boomerang throws 19 boomerangs, cutting the heads off of 20 military officers, the boomerangs Captain Boomerang throws, he only has to touch them slightly, but he can freely control them. He's one of the best metas I have, Deadshot says. Captain Boomerang kills every military personnel in the base in under two minutes. The military helicopters fire three missiles at him. Captain throws the boomerangs, but they enlarge and cut through the missiles, blowing them up in midair. Helicopters try to run, but then Captain throws a boomerang and is teleporting on the boomerang as it's flying towards a helicopter. He drops an explosive boomerang in one, the other he puts an acid boomerang. Deadshot calls him, he says, military outpost cleared. EOD members arrive to take weapons, armor, and vehicles and other supplies, and Deadshot orders everyone to go on the ground for the time being. Barry is running through the city and gets a call from Curtis saying an alert at the last standing Queen's Lab building. Barry gets there to find Firestorm. Ronnie? Barry says. Firestorm turns around and says, no one calls me that anymore. And a ball of fire is shot at Barry. Barry runs dodging and knocks Firestorm down. Firestorm then makes a fire tiger and it chases Barry around. Barry using his speed manages to disperse the creature. Firestorm then flies outside and unleashes a massive fire wave at the building. Barry, using his tornado hands, was able to divert the blast. Firestorm flies back into the building's bottom, and from the bottom up, he blasts a fire fist through four levels, nearly hitting Barry. Robert comes from the shadows, shooting Firestorm with an ion blast, disabling him. Robert smiles, saying, huh, that was easier than I thought. He reaches down to pick up Firestorm as Barry runs in. He looks, saying, who are you? Barry responds, I'm the Flash. Huh, I thought you were black, and you had a silver suit. What's with the red? He laughs, and then Barry says, wait, how did you get that suit? As Barry's walking... Robert launches up in the air using his rocket boosters and it activates an electrical current. It comes out throughout the whole floor, trapping Barry. Robert then takes off, flying with Firestorm. Barry manages to harness the energy and redirect it into the floor and jumps out of the electrical field. Meanwhile, Diggle and Thea, healed from the bank encounter, head to a building suspected of housing EOD. Once they enter, is EOD with the mayor of the city. He is being threatened by as a spinning meta. The meta says, I know you want to live. Where's Robert Queen? The mayor says, how am I supposed to know? And is punched in the mouth. That fucker Robert knows where our base is. Either you tell me or you die. The takes aim. Diggle says, wait, we don't know how many there are. We don't know if he's going to reveal the location of the base or not. We need to be calm. The then puts down an arrow. The mayor gets a call. It's Robert Queen. One of the thugs reaches into the pocket of the mayor, answers the phone, and says, Robert, we've been looking for you. Robert responds, if you harm him, I'll show you hell is only a step away. The meta says to the other EOD gang member, hey, tell him to come alone. Robert says, don't worry, I guarantee you, I'll be there alone. It hangs up. 
The meta then says, well, it looks like we have no need for you. And the acid meta fires an acid blast only to be blocked by Thea's arrow. The acid meta sees Thea and Diggle and says, you, you're the fuckers that caused me to get locked up. You don't remember. It's Chase. The EOD members start shooting. Diggle with his enhanced AK-47 fires back. Thea tests her new trough arrows and blinds two guys, letting Diggle kill them. The acid meta runs at both of them. Thea starts fighting him hand to hand. Thea runs to do one punch, but in an instant, she is slammed to the ground by Chase. Chase then looks to Diggle, about to fire an acid blast. When Thea stabs him in the leg with a fire arrow, he pulls it out saying, You bitch! Thea and Chase clash. Thea is thrown multiple feet across the platform. She fires an ice arrow, freezing the meta's arm. He uses acid spit to break the ice from his arm. Diggle then fires, hitting the meta's leg. Two remaining EOD members fire and hit Diggle's ear. Thea turns and fires, killing two of the EOD members with a bomb arrow. Then she looks back. Chase punches her, breaking her jaw. Diggle then takes aim at Chase, but Chase jumps nine feet in the air. Diggle fires. Chase dodges slightly, only being grazed by the bullet. He lands in front of Diggle. Diggle then begins to go hand to hand, kicking the wound that sends Chase to the ground. Diggle kicks Chase in the neck. Chase coughs up blood. Chase then kicks Diggle's ear, disabling him. Chase then fires an acid blast at Diggle. Diggle blocks it with his left arm. Diggle is shot multiple times until his left arm melts off. Diggle collapses from the pain, screaming and ah in agony. Thea then fires her last normal arrow into the gun wound. Chase then jumps off the platform, running out the building. As he runs out, Robert Queen arrives with his suit. Robert, in an angry tone, says, where's the mayor? Chase thinks, I can't fight him like this, that fucking bitch. The mayor runs out saying, Robert, Robert, please help those people. They saved me. Robert looks at Chase and smiles saying, I guess you got what you want. I'm here. Now what? Chase runs scared of Robert's suit. Robert shoots an atom disabler beam, killing Chase. Robert then goes in to see the people who helped his old friend. Diggle's mask is completely destroyed, and Thea's mask is torn. Robert says, Thea? Both of them are unconscious. Robert then picks both of them up and flies off into the distance. Minutes later, Black Racer is seen running down a road. When he stops, it's Grodd and nine other metas. Grodd said, I knew I would find you. I've been sending signals to you. Even though you blocked them, I can still trace where you blocked them. Racer says, good, now I can bring you to a higher power. Grodd says, what? Uh, what's a higher power? We're gods, my boy. There is no one higher than us. You're wrong, Racer replies. There's a force more powerful than anything you've ever seen. Prepare to meet him. Razor runs, striking Grodd in the stomach. Out of nowhere, water comes up and hits Razor. The force is so great, it's enough to send him 15 feet deep in the solid rock into the hill next to the road. Razor runs out of the hole, and fire and water are molten, he sees. He also sees two metas, one's controlling the fire, and the other one is controlling the water. They send an attack that tears through concrete. Razor uses a sonic blast to stop the attack. When the smoke clears, Razor is behind Grodd. He stabs him in the side. The other metas go to A Grodd, but Razor runs and snaps their neck, except the fire and water meta. They manage to dodge Razor before he could get there. They attack Razor and do too much damage to him. Razor realizes, I can't capture Grodd because I can't beat these little shits. Now that he realizes that, he sends a bolt and pierces Grodd's eye, killing him. The two metas scream, No, later! Racer runs off, escaping the encounter, badly damaged. Hours later, a funeral is held for Grodd. Killer Frost takes the lead of the Hef army. She speaks to Hef. Ronnie has been kidnapped. Grodd, who was like a father to us all, is dead. War, my brethren. Kill EOD. Troth. The military. That robot black flash fucker, Kid Flash, everyone will burn for what they did to our father. 
guys thanks again for watching yeah things are getting really intense on my fan fiction of the flash now i'm going to be uploading another episode today episode 20 looking forward to it you're going to get two episodes today because tomorrow well actually later today like i'll say um 14 hours you'll see another episode come up that's only because i have only two more days until the cw flash comes out and i want to have my series done when that comes out because i'm also going to be revamping episodes one through seven because i didn't really have them in the same format i just have it as an animation talking and i know i could do a lot better than that guys thanks again for watching this has been your homeboy popular video games here peace out y'all and talk to you later